Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 58 of the Cleveland Spiders franchise here on MLB The Show 21. Now today's episode is going to start a little bit different because we're not jumping right into a game because I don't want to play the first game of this Milwaukee Brewers set. We'll still jump in against the Brewers and the Tigers, but I want to play game three because we're going to see the MLB debut of Ethan Hankins today. Now if you remember last episode, we did lose Shane Bieber to the season, so we will be without our MVP and two-time Cy Young Award winner, which is a huge loss. So today we're going to take a look at the guy who will be replacing him in his bullpen spot. Now before we send in the first two games, I also want to make one more call up, and that's Jake Bowers from AAA. He's hit five home runs in the first month of the season. Remember, we're also trying to replace the power of Framil Reyes, so I want to give Jake Bowers a chance, give him a shot to hit some home runs, maybe provide a little bit more offensive pop. So we're going to call him up, and we're going to send down Oster Mercado. Game one of the series, we do beat the Brewers 4-2, to two, thanks to Donovan Solano going one for three with a home run and three RBIs. Already seen him hit a couple of game-winning base hits this year. He has been a phenomenal addition to the team. Before we get into game two, we have our first trade of the year. Looks like the Dodgers and the Yankees are going to make a trade. Two interesting teams making trades because these are our favorites, potentially, for the World Series from both squads. Now, the Yankees get a reliable bullpen arm in Blake Trinan while the Dodgers will get Corey Kluber to, I guess, add to their rotation. Looks like a pretty decent trade from both squads. Kubo actually, fortunately, ironically, got hurt in his Dodgers debut, so he might miss a start, but very interesting trade nonetheless. Game two, we dropped to the Brewers 7-0. Now, the Brewers are off to a horrible start, as you can see as well, 6-12, but they did beat us in this game as Peralta pitched seven innings of 8K work. So we're going to jump into the rubber matchup between the Brewers of 6 and 12 and the Spiders who are 14 and 4. If you're excited for this one, make sure you drop a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. Ethan Hankins makes the walk to the mound for his major league debut as this is a big matchup for him. The former number 35 overall pick back in 2018 is from Forsyth Central High School out of Cumming, Georgia. He's had three starts in AAA this year. Hasn't been overly impressive. He did have a solid opening day start that we saw. But it's time for the big leagues. And it'll be Lorenzo Kane, the center fielder for the Brewers, leading them off. First batter, 2-2 two, two, two Kane. And he will swing and miss on a curveball, which means the very first batter, Hankins, has his very first major league strikeout. Big time. That's exciting for Hankins. You can see him smile and save that baseball. But Kane, you're on the negative side of that. Took an next batter, Colton Wong. He gets a hanging curveball this time. Hankins gets him to pop up, though, to left field where he'll be put away. And we'll take a look at this Brewers lineup, which is struggling, to say the least, this season. Now, next, they do have the former 2018 and All-Star from a season ago in Christian Yelich, former MVP. Then you'll see their newest addition, Corey Seager, the former Dodger, who signed a three-year, $34.8 million contract in the offseason. But he hasn't necessarily paid off, and they've had a hard time getting anybody to produce in their lineup. Here's the former MVP up next, and he also swings through the curveball, so Hankins gets him to go 1-2-3 two, with two strikeouts. On the mound for the Brewers will be Adrian Hauser making his fourth start of the season off to an 0-2, 420 ERA start with a 1.53 whip. You'd like to see that come down if you're a Brewers fan. Ahmed Rosario, who's been struggling this year, but he holds on to that leadoff spot, will start the day for the Spiders. 2-2 two, two pitch to Rosario, and he looks at strike three. A fastball catches the outside spot. And that's going to bring up Donovan Solano, who's been hitting phenomenally and is currently on a seven-game hit streak where he's hitting 500 over that span. His average is up to 356. 0-2 oh, to Solano. He hits it through the right side of the infield, so just like that is up to eight games. And he's now hitting above 500 during that span. Jose Ramirez up next, struggling, hitting 232, though. will ground it to a 4-6-3 double play. So both teams go down 1-2-3. We'll stick with Hankins in the second inning, see how he does against Corey Seager. He's only hitting 158 to, uh, since signing his three-year contract. 0-2 to Singer, and he swings and misses through a high fastball. And then next up, Keston Hira. 2-2, he swings and misses through a slider. That's three straight strikeouts for Hankins. And then up next, Trey Mancini, who's hitting 242 on the season. 0-2 to Mancini. And Hankins gets them to strike out the side. What a start for the rookie making his first ever start. Let's stay with him for the third inning as he gets Omar Navias to lead off this inning. And this time, though, he belts one to right field. That clears the wall. So after four straight strikeouts, he gives up a solo shot. That's fifth 
home run of the season for Narvaez. But, you know, I'd say overall it's been a pretty solid start for Hankins. But the Brewers do take the lead to start this one. It's now one to nothing, Milwaukee. Up next will be the third baseman, Travis Shaw. And the first pitch he sees, he's going to ground into the shift. So that'll be eaten up by Solano. And for the first out, Tyrone Taylor up next. 0 2 to Taylor. And he gets caught inside with a fastball. So Hankins settling back down. So what you'd like to see. And then the top of the order, Lorenzo Kane up next. He goes down swinging for a second time. So that's Hankins. Does give up the solo shot, but that's where you'd like to see the offense help him out. We're going to jump in with Jake Bowers making his first Major League at-bat since 2019 with Cleveland. 3-2 pitch to Bowers. He gets an inside fastball and turns on it to right field. And just like that, we have a tie ball game. Just what we brought Jake Bowers up to do is provide some more power. And he hits it 392 down the right field line, all tied up at one apiece. So if we can see that off the bench and for some spot starts for Bowers, we'll be very happy. 1-1 one, one now, all tied up in the bottom of the third. So still nobody out for Austin Hedges up next, getting another start at catcher as Perez's struggles to begin the season continue, and he grounds it over to first, where it's put away. Ahmed Rosario up next draws a four-pitch walk, so he takes first base for Donovan Solano. 0-2 to Solano. He slaps one the other way. Nice piece of hitting. Why, he's such a good high-contact hitter. Rosario is actually going to go all the way to third. So now runners on the corners. One out for Jose Ramirez. First pitch to Ramirez. It's a steal attempt, actually. And Solano's actually going to take second. We don't see the Spiders do that very often, but it works out there for his first goal base of the season. So now you got two runners in scoring position. And on a 1-1 pitch, Ramirez does ground out. But that will push home another run. Spiders take their first lead of the ballgame. Eddie Rosario up next is also first pitch swing. He's going to ground out, though, but the Spiders do get two here in the bottom of the third. How about top four staying with Hankins? It's Colt Wong up first. He grounds over to short. Jimenez with a nice rangey play gets him for out number one. How about Christian Yelich? 2 1 to Yelich, and he chops this one into the shift at second base. That's two out for Hankins. That'll bring up Corey Seeger. 1-2 pitch to Seeger. Gets jammed on a slider inside. Hits it to right center. Rosario is in, but it hits right off of his glove. That is a straight E8. Is That should have been the end of the inning. But instead, Seeger's going to find second base. Very rare mishap for Rosario. And then the next pitch, here a blast one to left. And that one's over the wall. Talk about an error paying epic proportions right away. As Hira hits his second home run of the season. That gives the Brewers a lead. Now it's 3-2 Milwaukee. That one will not go against Hankins ERA, but now he's in line for the loss. Trying to finish up the inning is Trey Mancini up next. He hits a 3-1 slider into center field. Rosario does field this one cleanly. Next up, Omar Novaez. He already went yard once in this game. He chops his bat down the third base line. Ramirez will throw him out, but now the Brewers have a 3-2 lead. We'll go bottom five. Back with Jake Bowers, who we just saw. Homer, he gets another pitch inside and turns on it, but this one will stay in the yard. But Bowers will have a leadoff double. How about Austin Hedges now? 0-2 up the middle. This one's going to be fielded, but it will push Bowers to third base. And that'll take us to Rosario. 2-2. Chopper up the middle. That's going to be a base hit, and the Spiders tie it up in the fifth. Clutch hit by Ahmed. Hopefully that gets him on the right track. So now we have 3-3, still one out for Donovan Solano, who takes a full count walk. Pitch was close, but Solano's on base for the third time today. How about Jose Ramirez up next? He's going to chop into a 4-6-3 double play, his second double play of the day. But we're all tied up at three. We're actually going to go a little bit later into this one to the sixth inning as Hankins goes five straight, but he's going to get a no decision in his first start. Tony Watson, the former Angels, out of the pen as he starts off with a lefty in Yelich and gets him to swing and miss for the first out of the inning. And the lefty in Corey Seager up next. He takes a slider and drills it deep to right field. This one's at the track at the wall, but it's caught out there for the second out. Kesson here up next, 1-1. One, one. This one's hit deep to right center. Here has already gone yard once, but this one will stay in. And Watson gets a 1-2-3-6. Let's go later into this one where Zach Godley will take up for the Brewers. So both pitchers in line for the no decisions. 
Bottom seven starts off with Jake Bowers again. 3-1 cutter. This one's lifted into left center, but Bowers will be put out for the first time today. How about Austin Hedges? 1-0 to Hedges. Chopped, or chopped bat, excuse me, as he pops it up to Navarez for an easy second out. And then Ahmed Rosario up next. 1-2 takes a curve ball, but puts it into the gap. That's a two-out base hit. Rosario is going to get to second base, and the man who led all the majors last year in doubles has another one today that is going to be his second of the season. Hottest batter at the plate, but Solana will pop this one up to first base, and that will end the seventh. Still tied at three apiece. We'll go into the top of the eighth. Nick Whitgren takes him out for his twelfth appearance of the season. He's yet to give up an earned run. He starts off the inning with Tyrone Taylor. 1-0 pitch, drills a fastball to left center. But Amar does have good range, and this time he does glove it on the run. First out. Top of the order, Lorenzo Cain, Chopra at the middle. Jimenez has this one, and good defense by the Spiders here in the eighth. Gets the first two batters. And then Colton Wong up next, hits a slider to right field. This one will be caught out there for the third out. And both teams now struggling to swing the bat. We're going to go to top nine, where Scott Alexander will come in, our fourth pitcher of the day. 3-6 ERA through his four appearances. Starts off with Christian Yelich, another lefty-lefty matchup. This one's going to be chopped. Alexander does range over and record the out. Corey Seager, 0 for 3 on the day. Make it 0 for 4. Chopper at the middle is fielded. Jimenez on the right side of the infield gets him for the second out. And that's going to bring up Keston here again. He swings and misses on a pitch in the dirt. Hedges does have it. Throws him out at first. So now the Spiders are going to have a chance to walk it off in the ninth. We're going to start off with Jimenez, who has been 0 for 3 so far today. He swings on the first pitch. He squeezes. Not a good at bats. That'll be the first out. Next up, Jake Bowers. Two for three on the day. 0-2 pitch is slapped to the right side of the infield, but is right into the shift. That's the second out, which means it's going to be up to Austin Hedges to keep this game alive in normal innings. He draws a four-pitch walk, so that does put the winning run on base. And then Ahmed Rosario up next on the 0-1 pitch takes a curveball into right field. Hedges now is at second base. They won't pinch run for him. And they're going to bring in a new pitcher. Josh Lindblom is going to come in for the Brewers, and he'll be tasked with getting the final outs against Donovan Solano. First pitch to Solano. He drills it back up the middle. Hedges, he's going to round third. He's going to come home. Kane fields it, throws it. It's cut off, but there's no play at the plate, and the Spiders walk it off. Donovan Solano again. With the game-winning hit up the middle. He has been swinging white hot recently. This is what we expected when we signed Solano. is to provide just that contact bat for us. He sends the Spiders home with another win. They take the series against the Brewers. Two out of three. What a at bat. What a signing Solano has been. And the Spiders are the best team in the American League to start. Overall, solid day. Hankins pitched phenomenal. Eight Ks in his five innings. We're going to jump right into the next series since this was the last one against the Brewers. And we're going to stay at home for a four-game series against the Detroit Tigers, who are out to a 9-9 nine nine start. That's pretty solid for the Tigers. And they just took two out of three versus the Yankees. So, very young Detroit squad, maybe showing some flashes as to what's to come in the Motor City. Aaron Savali will start off for the Spiders. He is basically the new ace now with Beaver out. He'll start off his day against Victor Reyes, hitting 295 on the season. 1-2 pitch to Reyes, who slaps it right over to Ramirez. That'll be the first down. We'll take a look at this Tigers lineup. There's a lot of good young pieces here in this lineup. Next up will be a rookie in Cole Peterson, the 13th round pick, as well as the rookie of the year from a season ago, Akel Badu hitting in the fifth spot. And then Spencer Torkelson, the number one overall pick back in 2020, has been hitting 367. Those are your core pieces if you're a Tigers fan. Here is Cole Peterson up next. He's going to hit a base hit into center. The former St. Bonaventure has a hit. And I'll bring up Renato Nunez in the three spot. First pitch, and Peterson's actually going to swipe second. He gets in there safely. That'll be his third stolen base of the season. So now a runner in scoring position. And Renato Nunez hits one to center. Rosario is there. They will not test his arm. That'll be the second out. I'll bring up Jonathan Scope now. 1-2-2 two, two scope, and he swings and misses on a cutter, so the Tigers do get nothing in the top of the first. On the mound for them will be the lefty Zach Logue, who is a 
former Blue Jay, as he was taking the Rue 5 draft this past offseason. Hasn't worked out for the Tigers, but they can't send him down unless they want him to go back to Toronto. So it looks like the Tigers are going to gut it out. Rosario leads off again for the Spiders on the very first pitch he sees. He takes a fastball into right field. That'll be caught for the first out. And we'll take a look at the Spiders, Spiders lineup today. We'll see Donovan Solano up next, followed by Ramirez. Rosario Luplo this time in right field. Haven't seen him much this year. He has struggled. Owen Miller will be your DH. Yu Chang will be at first, followed by Jimenez. And Perez does get a start today. Donovan Solano, here he is up next. 1-1 one, one pitch. Also takes this one into right, but it'll be caught again for the second out. And it brings up Jose Ramirez. Now hitting from the right side today. 2-0 pitch. Slaps the slider down the line. That'll be a two-out base hit. For the Spiders, as now Ramirez is on first base for Eddie Rosario. First pitch to Rosario. He's going to swing. Gets a fastball, and he hits it into center, where it'll be caught by Badu to end the first. We go top second with Akil Badu, the 2021 AL Rookie of the Year last year. Tigers hoping he can build upon that this season. Already hitting 267, one homer, four RBIs to begin. But he's going to like a strike three this at bat. As Savali gets him on the inside with the cutter. Here comes Spencer Torkelson, the former number one overall pick back in 2020. Made his MLB debut just a year later. Already his second year in the majors, and he's looking like a future multi-time all-star. He does pop out to Yu Chang, though, for the second out of the inning. And then Chance Sisko, the former Baltimore Oriole, gets a base hit into center field to keep the inning alive. That brings up the DH Hamer Candelario, who hits a 1-1 into left field for a base hit. So back-to-back -back singles for the Tigers. And that'll bring up the left fielder, Robbie Grossman. First pitch to Grossman. He hits it over to second. This one will not get through, and it'll end the second inning. We're going to jump up to the bottom of the fourth now. Jordan Luplo has had a horrible start to his season, and that continues as he looks at strike three. He's 0 for 2 on the day, hitting below 100. How about Owen Miller up next? 0-1 slider hits it into right field, and this one's not going to be caught. Slow jog by Reyes does not work out, and Miller's got some speed. He's going to turn this into a one-out triple. So maybe some lazy defense by the Tigers puts a runner just 90 feet away for the Spiders. And it'll be Yu Chang. Full count to Yu Chang. He swings and misses on a fastball. It's a big-time strikeout, which means the Spiders need a base hit to bring home Miller. But Andres Jimenez, our best hitter to start the season outside of Donovan Solano, delivers. That's an RBI double into the left field corner. And the Spiders strike first now one to nothing. Now time for Roberto Perez. He's only hitting 174 this season up next, but this pitch is actually going to get away, and Jimenez is going to move up to third base. So now it's 1-2 to Perez on the wild pitch. Now 2-2. Two -two. He hits one right up the middle, and this one hangs in the air just a little too long, but the Spiders do get one. We're going to jump farther into this game. We're going to see Tony Watson step up to the mound again. Just saw him last night. He'll be asked for getting the lefties out here against the Tigers. Top of the seventh, Akel Badu starts off. 1-1 one, one pitch is hit to right where Luplo has it for the first out. And the left this time, Spencer Torkelson up next. He's going to ground it over to the right side of the infield. That'll be the second out of the inning. And then that'll bring up Chance Sisko. Another lefty. 1-2 pitch. He swings and misses. So Watson gets his job done in the seventh. And we're going to jump to the eighth now where Jordan Hicks will set up for James Karinchak in the ninth. 150 ERA in his six appearances. He starts off with Hamer Candelario, who chops it right back to him. Easy first out for the Spiders. How about Robbie Grossman? 0 for 2 on the day. Pops it up to left center. This looks like it's going to be 0 for 3 in the Spiders' bullpen, doing what they need to do. Now we'll take us to the top of the lineup. 1 for 3 day for Victor Reyes. He swings through a triple-digit fastball, which means we're going to go into the ninth. Now, before we take a look at the ninth for the Tigers, we're going to see if the Spiders can get an insurance run off of Michael Fulmer, making his seventh appearance out of the pen. Eddie Rosario will lead off in the bottom of the eighth for the Spiders. 0 for 3 so far today. Flew out back in the fifth in his last at bat. 1 1 count from Fulmer. Gets a changeup and slaps it, but it's right into the shift. Peterson with a very interesting looking. Hat design over there. Gets the first out. Hopefully, Peterson's okay. Jordan Luplo up next. 1 2 now having to hit a righty. And he hits this one into left field where he'll be put out. And his struggles continue. He's hitless on the day. Two outs for Owen Miller, who chops it up the middle. It'll be fielded, though, by Peterson. So his unique look will not stop his defensive ability. 
So it's 1-0 going into the ninth for James Karinchek, who is looking for save number 8 on the season despite having a 587 ERA. Starting is Cole Peterson, who strikes out swinging. Can you blame him? He can't even see out of that helmet. He might need to get that checked out. Renato Nunez up next, also swings and misses. So that's a quick two outs for the Tigers, which means it'll be up to Jonathan Scope to get the final, or to keep this game alive for the Tigers. He is 0 for 3 on the day. First pitch from Karinchak. He swings and he hits this one into right field. Loop blow is over, and the Spiders win game one of this four game series by a final score of a whopping 1 to nothing. One run was all the Spiders needed, and it was a base hit by Jimenez to push home that run. And the Spiders take game one, continue to play white hot, while the Tigers drop to nine and 10. One run on seven hits for the Spiders. Tigers only had four. Savali gets the win. Lowe gets the loss despite a pretty solid performance. And then Karinchak gets his eighth save of the season. I'd like to see the offense play a little bit better, but obviously dominant pitching, that's kind of what we've become known for. However, it didn't hold up in game two as the Tigers win this one six to one, thanks to Torkelson's two for four day with a solo shot to add. And then in game three, we also lose nine to six, thanks to a six burger in the fifth for the Tigers. Classe had back-to-back -back bad games, gave up two more earned runs in this one, despite only going an inning in two thirds. And then finally in game four, the Tigers win seven to four. So they take three out of four against us. As Logan Allen this time, two and two thirds innings, seven earned runs right when I was just praising our pitching. So that brings us to the end of April as we kind of limp in at a 16 and seven record. I think next episode we're gonna take a look at a player down at AAA and then we'll recap the first month of the season. See how the spiders stand, but hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. This is Mr. Rob and I'll see you in the next one.